Well, what's going on and welcome back to Knife Life BDC. Now we're going to do a quick short video real quick just kind of comparing the two pyrites because I kind of talked a little bit of smack about the Warncliffe one and I figured I would eat my words a little bit you know because I talked a lot of trash like I said about it. I didn't like the way the blade looked. I, I thought it looked a little too elongated. I just I didn't like like it. I just didn't like it. And then I bought one finally. I was like I'm just going to do it and I, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. You could say I'm impressed. Um, I just wanted, so I wanted to just do a quick comparison. There's the regular pyrite drop point. Love that thing. Love the color. Um, love black. And, and I think that little silver uh, button lock right there kind of just makes it pop. And um, yeah, overall, pyrites are awesome. Great knives. Budget friendly and ju just great. Now, this one right here is the one that I just didn't know about until I got my hand on it and I loved it. Um, did not know I was going to like the, the Warren Cliff. I thought it looked a little too long gated this way. It just looked long and kind of goofy in the pictures and other videos and stuff. But once I got my hand on it, I was like, mm, yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Um, I, I just love the way it looks too. Like even the color scheme. Like Pyrite, they're doing awesome stuff right now. Or not Pyrite, CJRB. Like you got choice after choice after choice of what you want, whatever you want just about. You just have to find the one. There's like 30 different choices, like different uh, blade shapes, different color schemes, and they're doing more stuff now. They're doing like many ones, I think. Um, I think they're the same price as like these or maybe a hairball more. I'm not for sure. But like they have different colors and different, this, everything, everything you can imagine, different inlays. I originally wanted to get the the one, I kind of think it was the Connoisseur level, um, Warncliff Pyrite. And it had the wood inlay, which I love wood color, uh, like wood um, scales or like inlay stuff like that. It's just kind of, I'm old timey, I guess. I don't know. I'm old timey. So I wanted that one, but I just did not like the blade. It was Damascus, and I'm not a big fan of Damascus. But then again, I could be like this, where I thought I did not would not like that. And then I got my hand on it, and I absolutely love it. So maybe if I would do that with the Damascus blade, something like that, maybe I'll love it. I don't know. But, um... So CJRB, is, 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 they're doing awesome things right now. Check them out. If you need one, if you want one, get it. Different price ranges for everyone, obviously. But um, I'm seriously, they probably have one you'll love. But this is the one I kind of was drawn to because the carbon fiber inlay. And what also really drew me to it was the color scheme. I love like that reverse tux look. Like it's, I would probably buy every knife like this if I could. There's one coming out, the Kunwu Django. Um, I don't know when it's going to be out. I think maybe in a month is when it's going to get shipped here or something like that. I bought it the day it came out when they put it for sale. It was like a pre-order and I'm counting on the days and it's a reverse tux. And I love Kunwu knives to begin with. They are just phenomenal knives. But um, I love the the reverse tux look. Just look, They look awesome. I love the look. And then you add that little CJR, or not CJR, but carbon fiber inlay. And it just makes it pop. So you got a little bit of you know best of both worlds. You got the reverse tux and you got a little inlay right there. It's mm, top notch. Now, something else on there that I didn't know if I would like on it is the hole, uh, the thumb hole. Um, I didn't know how well I would like it on a pyrite, and honestly, because I, I do love my thumb studs. I love my thumb studs on the pyrite. They they work great. Um, yeah, this this one, I just, it opens so much smoother. It, it opens smoother than this one, but this one's, obviously, it's still new. It's broke. It's being broken in. But, um... It just, it, it does. It works pretty well. Like, you really, I can open it up, and it, it opens up smooth. I really do like it. I don't know how some people like the little longer thumb hole. I don't know. Um, but for me, I think it fits perfect. And I, I do like the thumb hole. I think I like the thumb hole better than thumb studs. I think it's also something less to possibly catch on. Um, I don't know. I like that's why I think I like thumb holes overall, as you can see, like in knives in general. I think they're easier to open to me, and maybe not easier, but more enjoyable. I don't know if that's a thing. I could be crazy. I'm not sure, but um, I do like that thumb hole. It does really like just add that flavor to it. Um, again, I hopefully I don't know if I discussed it in this video. I'm going to be doing a video over the Echo. I don't have the Echo with me uh, as in this moment. It's with my brother right now. Hopefully when I get it back, I was decided I think I'll do a video on that because I didn't, when I got the Echo, 
I, I bought the Echo because I liked the bl way the blade was better looked better on that. But now that I have this, I think I like the blade better on this version. Or the Pyrite instead of the Echo. So I'll be doing another video probably of that. Just over that, showing them off real quick. Just comparing them. Um, yeah, but I, I love the Echo too. The Echo is another phenomenal knife by CJRB. I really like them. They're just, CJRB, they're just popping out good stuff on uh, all sorts of places. Um, I was kind of surprised. I didn't know how close they were in length. I thought they would be a little off, but they're the exact same length. Apparently this one's a little greasy or something. I don't know what that is. Maybe my hands are sweaty. But um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a quick video. Um, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. You know, it helps me. It helps the algorithm. helps get my video out. And if you uh, want to leave a comment, do it. Do it to it. Uh, or subscribe. But uh, other than that, have a great day.